There are three show-off Allens, Tony, Tom and Jack, but there are a lot more fans of music and musicians in the family. Here is the full Allen family, and Father Pat Sr. must have wondered about his showbiz dynasty. Were you afraid at one stage that they were all going to go off and become professional musicians? No, I didn't mind. Yeah. That was up to their shells. Yeah. Pat, how do you feel when you see Tony doing a big television show in England? It looks great, doesn't it? As long as they get on well, that's the whole thing. Yeah, and do you feel very proud when you see them doing sure. so well? Why wouldn't you? You haven't played music yourself in ten years now, have you? No. Why not? Well, I just give it up to the wife died and that finished that for me part of it. And we got you back to play today? Well, and last night now was the first time. Yeah. And are you glad now that you started well, playing again? I don't mind, you know. I think still, it's not the same, still, you know. I know, yeah. But do you think that, that you might play a little bit more now that you've got nah, the taste I don't for it again? Know. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't bother about it, no. Too, look too much at the television. And do you always look at the lads when they're playing on TV? Oh, God, eh? <laughs> sure would. <laughs> I wouldn't let me start anyway. Now, Mick, you're the eldest, and you were the first one to play music. How long have you been playing the pipes? Well, I first started playing the pipes when I was only 11 years old. And I played them for about seven or eight years, and got a kind of fed up with them at that stage, and started playing a small behind the card even. Then I got married and went to England. Now, in England you worked uh, in the kind of show band business, didn't you? Well, I was involved in two ballrooms for the Four Problems of Manor House and the Tower in Wembley for about 11, 12 years. And do you remember Tom and Tony coming over and playing for you when you were managing those? I do indeed. And Tom played uh, in Manor House back, I won't say how many years ago, with the band called The Night Runners, and Tony was playing piano with him then. I see. And you came back to Ireland, you're, you're a plumber now, are you? I do a bit of plumbing, there's not a lot of it about, but there you are, that is my trade really. Yeah, yeah. And, and do you miss being involved in running dance halls and being mm, Not really. The uh, when I came home from England 14 years ago, uh, the Rose Tub and Moat started and I was involved in that for a few years for Brendan Shine, so it's a few years closed now, but no matter where you want to go, if you want a bit of entertainment, there's plenty of it around, like, you know, there's plenty of traditional groups and there's plenty of country bands, the best music in the country is here in the Midlands. Now, how do you feel when you look and see the, the, the three show-offs in the family? Ah, oh, well, they were the lucky ones. <laughs> it was hard work. <coughs> it's good to see them doing so well, anyway. And would you go to see them now when they're playing fairly Oh, early? yeah, I go all the time, wherever they're around, yeah. Do you boast about them? <laughs> Nobody would listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are in Tony Allen's front garden, just a stone's throw from his dad's house and another stone's throw from Jack's house, and I'm with the three posers in the family, Tony, Tom and Jack. Tom, you were the first to go out as a full-time musician. Well, it was more of a decision that I had to make at the time, I suppose. You know, it, um, it wasn't really a big decision. No, I, was, I loved the music and uh, decided that I wanted to do that, you know. But were you actually working before you decided oh, to yeah, do yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I spent my time, several my time as a mechanic for years and I was selling cars most of my life, you know. Yeah. So, uh, well, what, was the first, always, what was the first band you jumped into? Well, when uh, the first professional professional band I went to was, was a band called the Fenevans in Monaghan back in 69 when I was very young, you know. And then uh, Tony came with me for a couple of weeks. Oh, so yeah, he dragged him out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he didn't like it, so he came back home. And um, I stayed at it for a couple of years. Then I got out my tonsils and I had to give it up. I wasn't able to sing for a while. So we came back home and, and uh, Tony and I then, the band called the Night Runners was formed. And Doc Carroll, who was now Doc Carroll of the Royal Blues and was before then, he was with us. And uh, we, we played the game for a few years. And then Foster and Allen was born. Or, few years later on. And of course T.R. Dallas was born. T.R. Dallas. How long has, has T.R. Dallas been in existence now? Uh, about eight years. Yeah, and why did you go the country route? Well, I always liked country music, you know. I, uh, in the earlier days we played relief to people like Big Tom and Larry Cunningham and I suppose we uh, we got to love the music because of that. And then coming from a traditional background, like it was, like uh, it was uh, all in the one vein, I suppose, you know. Now, Tony, you followed Big Brother Tom out into the Big Bad World, but when did you decide that yourself and Mick were going to go off as Foster and Allen? Uh, well, before, during the time of the Night Runners, uh, 
some of the lads had left the band and we were looking for a, a saxophone player. And Mick Foster, of course, is known as a traditional musician and ballad singer, things like that. But as well as all that, he also plays a bit on the saxophone. And uh, I spent a few weeks trying to convince Mick to join the band with us. But he was trying to convince me to leave the band and start a, a duo because he had seen the Alexander Brothers perform in, in Mullingar and he thought that Ireland should have a, an Irish version of the Alexander Brothers. I thought he was completely banana. So he agreed that he joined the band with us. If the band didn't work within six months, uh, we'd go on the road as a two-piece. And in about two months after joining the band, T.R. and himself crashed the car and Mick broke the leg. And uh, the night runners broke up before he got back on the road. And we started out from there. Now you are truly the international success of the Allen family. <laughs> did, did that international success come as a surprise to you? Oh, it did indeed, because uh, like we recorded a bunch of time in 1979 as a, an album track just, you know. And it came out so early, Brad, I was a single, and we didn't have the charts here, I think, eight or nine times. And uh, in 70, late 71, early 72, it was released in England as a single. And that we, you know, the last thing we expected was a song like that to make 17 in the British charts. Now, you've been all over the world several times, and yet you keep coming back, you're living here just on the point of the 40 acres of the family home. Do you come back here for solace? <laughs> well, uh, I, as Tom was telling you, like, I spent two weeks with the Finnevans one time in Monaghan. That was the only two weeks I ever lived away from here. And uh, I never lived anywhere else, except in the town of Maud for a couple of years after I got married first. But uh, no, I, I like it back here. It's, there is definitely plenty of relaxation over here, you know. None of the craziness. I know. Well, they're all crazy, but in a different kind of a way. 